Hello everyone, it's Brennan, and I have a very exciting unboxing from GanCube, which is the new GAN13 Maglev, their 2022 flagship. Uh, but before we get into it, I wanted to announce that you can now use code BRENNAN at the GANCube shop for 5% off orders above 50 US dollars, and you can save up to 20 US dollars. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so let's get right into the cube. It's a very nice magnetic box, like that. It snaps right back, which is super, super cool. All right, so now onto the cube. So let's do first turns. So out of the box, the default settings are pretty fast. So I do plan on slowing it down, but from what I can feel right now, I can tell that the cube has a lot of potential to be a very fluid and nice solving experience when you set it up correctly towards your turning style. I feel like in a cube, it's important to have very nice transitions. So that means good fluidity. So like what that means, you do a lot more D moves during cross if you use CFOP. And then towards F2L, a lot more R and U rotations with quick, you want it to be as quick and seamless as possible. And then in the last layer, more F moves, a lot of G perms and Y perms and stuff, rotations or E perms. Uh, I can feel the cube has a lot of potential. I just need to slow it down properly. And yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. So I'm gonna be giving more of my impressions when I set up the cube. After using the cube for a bit, I settled on setting three for center travel, which is the outer adjustment, setting six for the tension setting, which is the inner gear, and setting six in the magnet setting. When I think of the cube, the name Maglev really doesn't lie. The cube has very little resistance, as if the pieces levitate past each other, hence the name, but additionally, the cube now contains edge magnets, making a total of 88 magnets. I believe these features allow the cube to maintain a very consistent feel, which is great when you're looking for fluid solving in a flow state. Despite being 5 grams heavier than the GAN12, the cube manages to actually feel lighter, making the cube have greater potential for faster turning speed. So all in all, I'm definitely looking forward to using this cube more, and I'm excited to eventually try it out in competition. Anyways, thank you so much to GAN for sending me this puzzle, as well as other cubes and sponsored GAN apparel that I actually wore this weekend to Richmond Hill 2022, which is a comp I organized with my friends Ryan Wu and Stanley Wang, which, which was a great competition. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for watching and see you guys later.